Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel and happy Sunday. I feel like the weeks have been going so fast. I feel like I'm already filming Sunday again. I feel like I just did this. Anyhoozy, happy Sunday. It's gonna be a very chill one at home. I just went to Zumba and then I took a nice shower, got my hair washed. I'm feeling very blah lately. I think I'm going through a little bit of like a winter funk. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. I do feel a lot better now that I just washed my hair. I like needed like a fresh shower reset, but I don't know. I've just been looking in the mirror lately and I'm just, I feel like physically blah. I haven't been doing my hair right. My makeup hasn't been looking right. I mean, I definitely gained weight over the holidays and I just feel like it all freaking goes to my face, which I hate. And so I've just been looking in the mirror and I'm doing like, something is just so off and I just feel so like a little bit extra plump, which is fine, but I don't know. It's just been like throwing me off. So I feel like a little bit like, you know, I'm like, I haven't been feeling very like pretty lately, but I actually feel a little bit better now that I just showered. I did order a bunch of new makeup. So I'm going to try to like change that up. Um, also my tanner, I just tanned and I feel like I'm, I'm hitting the end of my bottle and it could be my head. Benji, don't do that. No, no, no. No, I feel like I'm hitting the end of my bottle. I just ordered new ones and it could be in my head, but I feel like when I get towards the end, it's not as like pigmented and dark. And so I've been tanning and I just like, I feel very like winter dull, if that makes sense. Like, that's how I've been feeling lately. Like my face, my hair, my tan. I just feel like I need like a summer glow, which is not gonna be here for a long time. So we'll have to get through this, but I just ordered some fresh tanners, so any hoozy. I also could be PMSing. I need to look at my app and see if that's happening. Mercury is in retrograde also, and I have been definitely on edge and a little sassy, but I'm on edge and sassy when Mercury is also not in retrograde, so what am I looking at? My app. Oh my god, it just popped up that I've been using this app for five years. Wow, that's crazy. The Flow app is how I like track my period and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm not supposed to be getting my period for another 39 days, so. So anyways, that's where I've been at, but we're gonna have a nice relaxing Sunday. Turn the feelings around, hopefully. I would like to show you guys how I do my Dyson Air Wrap, but I'm also feeling like leaving my hair straight. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, but for now, I'm gonna make food because I'm very hungry. We're gonna make hella fresh soup. This video is not sponsored, but you guys know I and the soup seems really easy and it has peas in it and sausage and it just sounds really yummy and comforting because it is freezing. Apparently, we're supposed to get a snowstorm tomorrow. Well, it's gonna start tonight. I hope not <laughs> because we already had a snowstorm. I'm over it. I don't want more. I want to have my day tomorrow. Tomorrow we are supposed to actually, if you remember for Christmas, I got my dad a professional organizer and she's coming for a consultation tomorrow to, you know, look at the garage and everything. I don't think we're gonna start until the spring because it's cold, but she wants to, you know, just come and see it and she's supposed to come tomorrow and if it's all all, like snowy and can't drive then that's not gonna happen and then I can't go to my Zumba class and then we're all just all sorts of messed up so <laughs> let's make some soup on this fine Sunday cooking always makes me feel good let's do it oh by the way I'm also wearing an outfit that I know I'm comfy in and makes me feel good and is just like so cozy sometimes I do love my sweatpants but sometimes I just feel like blah in them as comfortable as they are I have a few sets that like flatter me I actually think I like the way that my makeup came out today huh would you look at that? Put a little time and effort and I'm feeling better. Anyways, sometimes sweatpants can just make me feel really big and unflattering and slouchy, she says as she's wearing an oversized sweater. But <laughs> let me show you in the mirror. I love a good oversized sweater with some leggings. Like I like the balance of baggy and tight. So usually when I wear sweatpants, I like to wear like a tight, you know, tank top. I love doing that in like the spring and fall or whatever. Um, but for winter, I don't know, just like, you know, comfy, like wintery socks. They have like the little snowflakes on them. <laughs> and I'm just wearing some Align leggings from Lulu. And then just like an oversized sweater. This is when I feel my best, honestly. Okay, anyways, rant over. Let's make soup. Here's what we're making, guys. Creamy tomato soup with pork sausage. And look how simple it is. Just literally got the four things. It seems very easy. Not even chopping veggies involved, so I'm excited. Even though this isn't sponsored, I'll put my discount down below if you guys want it. Here's our ingredients. 18 ounces of Italian pork sausage, one tablespoon Italian seasoning, four tablespoons of cornstarch, three ounces tomato paste, eight ounces of cream sauce base, two packets of chicken stock concentrate, two packets of mushroom stock concentrate, eight ounces of peas, two bags gets and one cup of Italian cheese and that's the goal I think we can get there <gasps> 
You know what I just realized? They didn't send chicken stock concentrate. They only sent, well, they sent four mushroom on accident instead of two chicken, two mushrooms. It's gonna be extra mushroomy. That's fine, fine with me. We have the rack on the top and we're gonna start with our oven on 425. I pulled my hair back because I don't want it to fully dry so that I can dice and air wrap it. But we're going on like a medium heat and we're gonna put two tablespoons of butter in our pot. I'm just gonna use a plate. We're gonna take the sausage out of the casing. I'm just gonna use um, scissors to make it easy. You could use a sharp knife too, but I'm just gonna use a scissor today. And we should just peel it right off. I need to make my own sausage because I got the meat grinder for the KitchenAid. That's gonna be cool. What time is it in Melbourne? The time in Melbourne, Australia. Is Melbourne, do you know that's how you say it? What did I say? Melbourne. Oh yeah, Melbourne. I didn't know that. I thought it was Melbourne. Ew, bitch. Melbourne. Melbourne. I don't know. I think it's Melbourne. Oh. How not sure is it? Okay, sausage is out. I'm gonna wash my hands. So, can you... Well, maybe not very full start. Can you get your... Wait, this is 116? Oh, shit. Wait, you didn't know that? I'm gonna, and I'm excited. Oh. <laughs> well, my grateful is I put my nail appointment because I'm very excited to go get them done. Recording was cooking is number one. <gasps> That's what you're grateful for today? Me making food? I mean, I'm always grateful for that, but this is one of the best things ever. <laughs> it Not is because you honestly, cook, but you're good at it. And I prefer to. Like, I enjoy it. So you got yeah. lucky. Yeah. If I if I wasn't dating you and I had to date around at my age, that would be one of the criteria. If I couldn't cook, that my man's could cook <laughs> because it is not a nice thing. You got lucky. Wouldn't that be one of your criteria? That your girl can cook. To be honest, I just wouldn't be picky. Right, <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll take what I can get. Yeah. Sausage is going in. And we're putting in a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. I'm also gonna put the heat up a little bit. Baby, I need the things that go on here. Like pot holders? Yeah, but I couldn't, can you help me find them on Amazon? They all said that they were too big. Like none of them had good reviews. That brand doesn't make it directly from their website? I don't think so. What? Wait. You know what That's though? So dumb. Well, I haven't really checked to be honest. I did listed cooking, technology, and health. Those are good ones. Now, what I was gonna ask you, what's the word with our Sunday cleaning today? You could go do the mudroom in the bathroom if you want. Okay. You don't need to like film all that. You'll just tell the vlog or whatever. You're like, oh yeah, they're cleaning. Well, they're finding they're finding out right now. Oh. Lovely. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, because I don't want you to miss out on content, but... No, not yet. I, can do that I don't even stuff. really ever film me doing that, anyway. I feel like sometimes like, I see the tripod yeah, in the so, corner of my house. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. Okay, all right, so I'm going to go start then. Okay. Yeah, this isn't going to take long at all. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, but this is my favorite kitchen tool as of recently. I'll try to find something on Amazon for you guys. I wonder if that's where they got it. I'm not sure. Um, we came in a pack of two and I just, I love it. I love it so much. While that's cooking in this little bowl, we've got a half a cup of water. <laughs> what the? <laughs> How did that just happen? <laughs> I wish the camera angle was a little higher. At least it would have went on camera. Oh my god, I feel like when you got water up your nose in the pool. <laughs> Ew, wait, wait, did you? I'm so confused. Did you just open it and it blew up in your face? Yes. Let me get you something. You want a wipe or a napkin? I don't know. You don't want to mess with your makeup. Here, try paper towel. Oh uh, my god. You know what? I should use a makeup brush and <laughs> brush it off like powder. Yeah, and if you use a wipe or something, then your makeup's gonna come off. You gotta be kidding me right now. It was my fault because I could should have opened the package with a scissor, oh. but instead I was trying to use my teeth and then it popped open. Anyways, I'm mixing in the cornstarch <laughs> with the water. Oh my God, and there's so many more packets of it. Here you go. Or you not eat them in the mouth. I'm gonna eat them in the mouth. Oh my God, I can't believe that just freaking happened. Dude, that's so funny. This is supposed to be an easy recipe and I just made it, like literally if I just cut it, we would have been fine. I just made a freaking mess everywhere. I just said that I actually liked how it came out today and I haven't been liking any of it. Your makeup? Yes. Anyways, I'm gonna whisk this cornstarch into the water. It's getting hard. Isn't this like 
like an experiment we used to do as a kid, put cornstarch in water and it would like harden and it gave like a weird consistency. We definitely yeah, did that. Okay, I have to go fix myself really quick and then I'll finish. Okay, I wiped it off with my brush like setting powder. I just cleaned my makeup brush too, now I have cornstarch on my powder brush. It's still like white in my eyelashes and my eyebrow too. But now we have scissors. Uh, I dirtied the other ones with the meat, that's why I wasn't using scissors, but now I got another pair out of our drawer and we're not gonna be lazy so nothing else is gonna spill on us. Okay, now we're gonna add in our tomato paste that has a little slit to open it. That's good. Let's not get tomato. Oh, where's my apron? We are off to a bad start today. Can we get it? Right here. Oh, nice. You have a gallon with the three cats on it. One thing you want to says like my name on it, maybe. <laughs> Got our apron on now. All right, tomato paste is going in. Nobody talked to me today, okay? You're not gonna have even started by the time I'm done, babe. Sorry, right, there's just so much going on. What? No, nothing crazy. Either. I like when I have a to-do list, right? I like checking off the little things that take me a minute or two, just yeah. to condense my list. You know what 100%. I mean? Hundred percent. So that's what I'm doing right now, just getting like a little thing that I had down, taken care of first. Okay, now we're putting in our cream-based sauce. I think this is like a bechamel sauce. Then also the stock concentrates. I'm also reading that we're gonna have to add hot water, three and a half cups. So I'm gonna put the sink on so that it gets hot. Wow, this looks delicious. Kind of smells like dominoes in here, doesn't it? <laughs> I have my head buried in cat litter, but Oh, Ooh. yum. Look at this, you guys. Like, that looks good, does it not? Okay, let me go to the next step before I mess this up. The cornstarch mixture is going in there. My worst enemy. And then the three and a half cups of hot water. I'll bring that to a boil until thickened, about five minutes. If it seems too thick, we're gonna stir in another quarter cup of water, and then we'll go from there. I totally just lied to you guys, by the way. I realized they did send chicken stock concentrate. It's right here. I think they maybe just sent an extra two of mushroom, because it says there's only supposed to be two mushroom concentrates, but maybe they consider two one, I don't know. But they didn't mess up, sorry HelloFresh. Chicken stock is going in. Good thing it's not too late, I just realized. Usually the chicken stock concentrate is in the packaging like the mushroom one was. That's why I was like, didn't think we had it but they put it in a different package, okay. Okay, we've got our baguettes on a baking sheet, split in half, we're gonna do the Italian cheese. We're using half of it, and then the other bag we're gonna put on top of the soup. This is pretty interesting, there's no seasonings or butter or anything, literally just cheese. I mean, it sounds amazing to me, and I love how simple it is, so if it turns out really good, I will be doing this in the future. That's gonna go on the top rack for like five, six minutes. Heat is off, we're just gonna remove it from the heat. And we're gonna add in our peas. At least we didn't drop the peas all over. That would be a catastrophe. Stir those in. Sorry, that was not focused. Wow, look at that. It looks just like the picture. Look at me go. Well, besides my mishap, that was very easy. <laughs> I feel like that was life being like, let loose a little, laugh a little bit. It's all gonna be okay. And it worked. Oh, and before we play, can't forget. Nice salt and pepper. Cheesy bread is almost done. I'm actually broiling it just for a little bit so that the cheese gets nice and like, you know, a little bit crispy on top. I'm gonna do the same thing I did as a chowder. I'm just going to evenly distribute it into four bowls so that we have our four servings. My God, it happened so fast. Oh, it's good though, okay. She's fine. One second you look and it's fine. And then the next second you look and it's burning. I'm gonna take the garbage out quick. Okay. Okay, and then each of them get topped with some Italian cheese. Yum, yum. Honestly, since I'm making this for like lunchtime, it's probably gonna be our dinner too. So we'll probably end up having these other servings later. And not that much of a mess too. We've got the pot and then a few tiny little dishes. Doesn't that look good? Yum. Oh, we need to refill the napkins. Okay, we're going that there for now. <laughs> this time we're using small spoons. <laughs> the big spoons that we have are almost like too big. Did you take your vitamins? Uh, I did not. I approve of this one. Easy cleanup, easy make. Thank you. This looks delicious, baby. Part of me wants to go say the HelloFresh spiel, but I don't have to. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Such a good choice for lunch your days. Mmm. Are you a slurper? I'm a slurper. Oh my god. Why do I never notice that? You're not a slurper? No, it's not necessary. Oh my god, the cheese is so good. You just go like this, bub. Yeah. 
<laughs> I like slurping. <laughs> These are the kind of soups that I like though, that are like chunky. Mm -hmm. Like thick. Like don't give me your, sorry for all of you out there, but your chicken noodle, get it away from me. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah. Ramen is the only watery soup that I will accept. Other than that, I want a thick soup. This is delicious. Wait, I gotta try the cheesy bread. Babe, all they had me do with this is just put cheese on top of bread. No seasoning, no butter. Did you like do I, anything I or did not? it. No, I left it how they do it. I wanted to try it because that sounds easy to do in the future. Mm -hmm. Personally, I do a little sprinkling of salt, but it's probably just meant to dip in though. Mm. That was good stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that I'm just gonna smooth dry my hair instead of doing the whole air wrap shebang because I don't really need it nice and curly these next few days. I'm not doing anything major. So I'm gonna separate half my hair on each side and then two layers, clip it up here. And my hair is like almost dry, which is when you wanna air wrap. So let me just see how this looks. I don't know, let's see. I think that's fine. But will I be disappointed that I didn't curl it? Ah, uh, the struggle is real. I do need to film a few TikToks. I think the straight's gonna look fine. I think we're gonna go with that. Okay, let's finish this hair. I'm not mad at this result. It looks good. I keep seeing TikToks that people were like, oh, don't throw out that little box. And I was like, oh, I probably threw that out. And I didn't, I just found it. It's a little brush cleaner. Apparently you take the bottom of it off. Oh, mine's not even that dirty. Um, and you're supposed to clean it. Yeah, mine's not even dirty, huh? I didn't even know that this existed though. All right, well, there you have that. Also, since everyone is getting this right now, I will say I got these for Christmas, the longer barrels and I, absolutely love them i think they're so much more useful i got the bigger barrel but just in the longer version and it helps when you have extensions or longer hair these are just so short to fit your whole you know piece of hair around it so i really really like the longer barrels highly recommend if you get to this and you have long hair you want this more useful all right it's terrible accents i don't even know if it's british or australian <laughs> but here we are okay Stuff that in here. Close it out. I must say also I'm kind of jealous of everybody getting the navy blue and gold one. I feel like that one I like a lot better than the hot pink that I have. But also I like this beige case better than the blue case. So pick and choose your battles. And I put it on the windowsill. Very cute. And this is what my sink looks like every time I do my hair. Good thing it's Sunday cleaning. <laughs> I'm going to spray a little bit of this really, really in time. Brilliantine Shine Glossing Spray. Gives like a little shine to your hair. Garnier Fructis, and it smells, I just ate it. And it smells really good. Okay, not too much. We don't want to look like greasy hair. Just a little bit of gloss. Okay, we're done. Zane is filming a YouTube video in the office. If 
you haven't seen, he's relaunched his YouTube channel, so go check it out if you're into music and stuff. I am hanging out in the bedroom for now. Everything is so clean. It is like dark in there. It's like nighttime, you know, vibey. I am going to enjoy a Fiber One bar and I'm going to get some things on the computer. I have my Williams Sonoma gift card and my Lululemon gift card. I might spend that. I have to order Jerry's birthday present. I just got my new makeup in the mail. So I'll show you guys that after when he's done filming so I can actually talk to you guys. I set up the tripod. I'm filming some TikToks. I have a TikTok that I filmed like last week that I need to edit. It was like a day in the life, kind of like aesthetically pleasing one. I want to do my fourth quarter taxes. They are new from last year. I'm looking at my list. I'd love to edit my vlog for tomorrow and just film some TikToks. That's pretty much the plan for right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna get some things done on the computer. It's been a while. I ended up having my leftovers from before for dinner. I'm editing yesterday's vlog. I am almost done with it so that I can upload that tomorrow. Tomorrow morning we have to do podcast and then I've got a few other things that I need to do so I'd like to have my vlog ready to upload for tomorrow. Tomorrow also The Bachelor is on so I would like to enjoy that after my Zumba class. I have so many box cutters but I don't wanna go get one. Nice. <laughs> I follow this girl on TikTok. Let me tell you her name right now. Bryn Marie. That's what I follow on TikTok. And her um, makeup routine went viral. Like her base routine of like foundation, <laughs> foundation and stuff. And so I went into Ulta and I ordered what they had in stock. And also some of her products. Like I'll get when I run out of mine, but I already have like a bronzer, uh, a powder blush and stuff. So I wasn't going to like buy more products. I already have them. Benji, you're in my way. Thank you. But I got what we could from her routine and I got most of the stuff. So I think I'll have her base down. This has nothing to do with it, but I needed more conditioner. This is the one I've been using and I really, really love it. So she starts with her moisturizer and then she rubs in this rose hip oil. I don't know why, but we're gonna try it. I really like the packaging. It's very pretty. I feel like I could leave this out in the bathroom. Sorry, I don't have my little light on my camera, but it's fine, whatever. Then the primer that she uses is the poreless putty primer by elf she color corrects with the la girl pro conceal i don't know what shade she had i couldn't figure it out so i just got like a peachy pink color under the eyes this is not the same brand because the shade was sold out that she uses so i just got a different brand but a similar shade of a liquid blush i don't use liquid blush but i would like to because i use liquid contour and i like it a lot better than just using powder so we're gonna try liquid blush oh wait let me tell you what it is revolution liquid blush in the shade you got me blushing for foundation which i have not used a different foundation in literally years i've always used my wet n wild photo focus so we're gonna try this i might not like it but we'll see she mixes the nyx total control pro drops and the derma blend flawless creator drops i don't know if these shades are gonna work it might be a little too dark I'm not sure. I should have got lighter in one of them, huh? And then darker in the other. In the NYX, I got the shade Buff. And in the Derma Blend, I got the shade... Oh my god, they look really dark. Oh, 43N. I did it online, just like, so I didn't go into the store. Oh, that's really dark. I don't know about that. Oh, the NYX one is a little bit lighter, so maybe I can mix this with the dark one. Okay, that looks like my shade. Okay, hopefully that works. And then lastly, I use the, uh... Tart Shape Tape, which I do love, but she uses the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I actually use this in a really dark shade to liquid contour, and I like it, so why not try it for a regular contour? It'd be much more affordable than the tape shape anyway. And that is everything that I got. I still have written down the other stuff that she uses. One of the important ones is the Huda Beauty Nymph Glaze in Aphrodite. It's like a shimmering thing that she puts all over her face. I feel like that's a big part of her routine, but I couldn't find it. Um, the only one I could find is a body one, not a face one. We'll try this in one of my next vlogs. A whole new routine. I have been doing the same freaking makeup routine for so long, and I just wanna spice it up. I want it to look a little better, like I know what I'm doing a little bit more. Oh, there's the light. Hi. Very curious about this rose hip oil. It promotes rejuvenation and absorbs quickly into the skin, making it a suitable moisturizer. Never heard of it. And I know, obviously, what works for somebody else won't work the same way on somebody else's skin and face. So this is all going to be trial and error. We're going to test it out. Doesn't smell like roses, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> kind of smells like paint. Okay, not a fan of the smell of that. Right now. Well, 
We've been just like laying on the couch. We're gonna get ready and go to bed right now. We did it. Videos exporting. Videos exporting. Zane's sleeping. And so is Bailey. Yeah, I heard you. You were snoring, Miss Girl. Don't give me that look. It is 11.48. I edited my TikTok. It is exported to go up tomorrow. My vlog is exporting to go up tomorrow. I just have to do the thumbnail. Links are done. Tomorrow's gonna be a good Monday. Productive and also enjoyable because I got some ish done today. We're off to a great start, Bailey. Don't you think? Oh, okay. Amazing. I'm still working on ordering Zane's mom's birthday present. It's gonna take a while, but I'm very excited about it. I'm not gonna tell you guys because I want her to be surprised and I just don't want to risk ruining anything. But you will see her birthday is at the end of February. But we're still in the works with this present. I'm feeling much better than I was this morning. Anyways, my video is almost done exporting. I'm gonna set that to upload. Take off my makeup, get ready for bed. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. <laughs> I feel like it's hardening in my nose because it hardens when it gets into liquid. Hey. <laughs> oh! Oh! One sec- One second, do you Such a good choice cheese. for the winter days. Was there cheese? I thought I got it. Yeah. Not bad. It's good to keep the dark hair... There.